Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Once again, we are the gatekeepers. I'm Emily Edwin. At Dennis Keton. Uh, actually, welcome back guys. Um, we brought you um, Champions League football. Um, yesterday, um, the Europa League, the League of the Gods, which has been joined by many, many friends, was played. And uh, Arsenal won by 1-0. United, who are away against Royal Sociedad, won by 1-0, a goal scored by Garnacho. Of course, the assist from the mentor. Yeah, he scored his first senior goal for Manchester United at 18 years old. Congratulations and big up Ganacho. Yeah, uh, big up. More to come, huh? Yeah, more to come, more to come. That's more that's that's a good uh, start. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So back to the Premier League, guys. Back to the Premier League without wasting much time. The first match leads against Bournemouth. Good game, good game, good game. So Premier League is back. We are in match week 16. So as Leeds will be welcoming Bournemouth, we are all excited about this match. Mm -hmm. uh, considering that Leeds are motivated, they are coming in this game after actually winning against uh, Liverpool uh, by a late goal by Somerville, a goal which is scored in the 80-something 80, 80 minutes and uh, it managed to disappoint Liverpool. So the match ended 2-1 in favour of Leeds. M most of us didn't see that even when we were doing this prediction. But it is what it is. Uh, Bournemouth lost by two goals. Uh, against which team they were playing with? Tottenham Hotspur. Exactly. So that goes ahead to tell you that Bournemouth were well prepared for that match. They gave actually Bonham, uh, they gave Tottenham a good fight. And uh, were it not for the late, late, late uh, goal in the 92nd minute uh, by, I Benta believe, Bentaka, mm -hmm. um, it could have ended badly for Antonio Conte. But uh, as they face, uh, as Leeds are going to face Bournemouth, I feel like uh, it's going to be a game whereby two teams will be having almost equal strength. Both are motivated because one team played well against Tottenham, the other team outclassed Liverpool. So it's going to be a match whereby I will be waiting to see how it goes. But if you ask me, I'm going with the home team to win by 2-1. Me too. Leeds, Leeds, I love the way you're playing. Uh, this is, It's not the first match actually you're turning up. You've been playing well. You lost against Arsenal, but you played, played really well. Uh, in the game against Liverpool, Liverpool were, of course, up in possession, but Leeds still maintained. They maintained the, the tempo, so I'm still going with Leeds to win this game by at least 3-0. Man City against Fulham. Man City against Fulham. So Man City are the second in the league uh, after they are following Arsenal closely. So uh, they will be coming to this match ready to pounce. And as we all know Man City right now, <clears throat> they are crazy. They are good. Uh, apart from still uh, injuries from Haaland, but Pogba has some news about Haaland. What do you have to tell us about Haaland? Actually, Haaland, Haaland, Haaland is back on training uh, for the next match against Fulham. The question is, we don't know if Pep might play him because he's just fresh from injury. So. If you ask me, there's something which I know which you don't know. <clears throat> Pep believes in Haaland, especially in Etihad. We all know the good, the impressive record which Haaland has at Etihad. And uh, at Etihad, Haaland gets nothing less than a brace. So, for some reasons, to all of you fantasy lovers out there, if you thought that you had some ideas of selling Haaland, please hold that thought because Haaland will be playing this weekend and truly speaking, he will be getting his goals. Remember, his main aim is to get 20 goals before we head to the World Cup. Mm -hmm. That one he must get. So Haaland will be playing. Uh, apart from that, in the in match week 15, Man City won by a solitary goal against Leicester. What a free kick from Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, though the game was good, but uh, it is what it is. So uh, as they're going to face Fulham, Fulham a team which of course have been impressive so far. They agree with Everton, right? Mm -hmm. So I feel like Fulham is a team you don't want to underestimate considering the fact that they have a little striker in Mitrovic and uh, people like Andres uh, and uh, Deco yeah. Rivarid, mm -hmm. these people are good, even William here. So this is a game whereby I'm looking for, uh, at it like a 50-50 game, even though everybody expects Man City to have an easy run. Though, having said that, I still believe that if Ireland is going to start, give him some two goals, but uh, let's give this game uh, a 3-2 win in favor of Man City. Uh, City are going to run rampant on this game, so I'll be going with City by at least 4-2. Four 4-2, two. Four two, huh? Yeah. Nottingham Forest against Brentford. Nottingham Forest last time they were thrashed 5-0 by Arsenal, which is crazy. 
Brentford drew 1-1. So in this game, I think Nottingham Forest, Forest will be looking to at least bring the, the emotions back to at least try to bring their minds back to work. But meeting Brentford, I feel like Brentford is going to win this game because losing 5-0 is such a... It's not, it's not good for the players mentally. So before they... Before they recover, I think Brentford would have passed away. So I'm giving it to at least Brentford by one year. There are things in football which you can't really know how to explain. The same same Nottingham Forest as a team is a team which actually punished Liverpool by one goal to nil with a clean sheet. With a clean sheet, then they come to Arsenal, they get thoroughly beaten and stopped. So this is football, and this is Premier League where. Uh, nothing can be left to chance. So, as uh, they will be facing Brentford, I feel like Brentford also, after not after drawing over in game 15, they feel like they need to bounce back. Uh, by the way, we all know by now that uh, Tony has been sub suspended until maybe 12th uh, of November, but right now he'll be away, so clearly he will be absent. So, but even having said that, I feel like still, I'll, I'll go with Pogba's prediction, I feel like Brentford will be coming to win this match, though not with more goal. I'm looking at a 2-1 win. 2-1 win. Mm -hmm. Wolves against Brighton. Wolves, they lost by a goal to Crystal Palace. Yeah. Brighton on the other side, you see this number? They were shining bright. Mm. They added one on this number. And they smashed Chelsea by a four goals. To one so wolves against brighton now let me just to put it clear this game i see nothing but, but just a win to brighton because this team is very much organized they play good football uh, they have very uh, clinical attackers so i'm just going with brighton to win this game although they will be away but brighton will win this game by at least three goals to one First of all, allow me to just swallow the humble pie and just say congratulations to Brighton. You brought in a good fight, especially as you are facing your former coach. It was not a fight, they beat you. Because uh, it was a fight, no. and we accept. Huh? Yeah, you see, when we are fighting and I beat you, it's uh -huh. not a fight. You uh -huh. say, he just beat me. <laughs> so they beat you. Okay, I mm. got you. So, um, they played brilliantly well. Trossard was impressive. Uh, Pascal Grob is the one who scored the final goal, which made it 4-1. Then it was we had some sort of bad luck because we had two on goals, two unfortunate on goals from Trevor Chaloba, and also from from Loftus Cheek. Mm -hmm. So very unfortunate, but it's football. But we happened to bounce back. Chelsea bounced back over the uh, in the Champions League by winning one 0 against Dynamo Zagreb. But it is what it is. We are not dealing with Chelsea right now. So all what we are saying is that Brighton are, bright, are shining bright, and they will continue to shine that light on Wolves. So give Brighton a two-one win again. Brighton two-one win. Everton against Leicester. Everton drew zero-zero with Fulham. On the other side, Leicester were crushed one goal to nil by Kevin De Bruyne. Mm -hmm. So now that Everton will be at home, Leicester, I can't say much about Leicester because they are lukewarm, but Everton, they are improving. So this time round, I'll still go with the home team again. So Everton will win this game by at least one nil. The Toffees have been good of late. They are coming to face the Foxes. Um, this is a match whereby it will be good, a good one to watch. It will be interesting to watch how the players will be trying to outclass each other. Players like Madison, Harvey Barnes, and on the other side, when you look, um, when you look at players like uh, Gordon, uh, these are players who are good. They will impress, impress you in terms of runs, and of course, Calvert Lewin being there, clinical and lethal, ready to score goals. So, guys, be on the watch out for this game. This is a match whereby I'm looking at a 2-2 draw. 2-2 draw. Sunday matches, ladies and gentlemen. Aston Villa against Manchester United, which will be played at exactly 6, around 5 p.m. So, Aston Villa will be away. No, they will be at home. Yes, please. Um, although last season was not good for this fixture because Manchester United were beaten at home by a goal. Uh, in fact, they drew at home 2-2. I remember when we were, we were coming Coutinho, then we went away, we were beaten 1-0 by courtesy of Moutinho. Mm -hmm. How about this fixture? This is a very interesting fixture. 
though um, at a very different time as opposed to last season when they met. Mm-hmm. Right now, they, Aston Villa are inviting a Manchester United who are motivated. Uh, they are organizers of now. They are meeting a Manchester United who are hungry and uh, they are willing to progress and to gain points to actually uh, reach where maybe Man City or Arsenal are. So it's 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 clearly a good game it will go on record it's an easy game to say that uh, man city that manchester united will win this game especially after aston villa bungled the opportunity over the weekend uh, against uh, the other ones who are thrashed by newcastle right four, nil. four goals to nil so if that was not a good lesson from uh, newcastle then i don't know what they're prepared as they're going to face manchester united so this is a match whereby, allow me just to be straight up with you. I'm going with Manchester United to win, especially with how they are forming themselves right now. So give Manchester United to win by 3-1. 3-1. Uh, right now we are, we, okay, Manchester United and clean sheets right now, they're, they're good friends. Uh, they're interacting very well. The gear is very much impressive, not forgetting um, Lisandro Martinez. But the question is, will Harry Maguire turn up? We don't know. Although he has been called up for the international duty. <laughs> but anyway, whichever the case. So I'll go with Manchester United to win, but this time round, not with a clean sheet, but United will win by at least three goals to one. Southampton against Newcastle. Southampton, last time they lost to Crystal Palace. Uh, Newcastle, of course, they Waliadibu well, Aston Villa four goals to nil. So Southampton will be at home. Guys, uh, let's not even get it twisted. Uh, Newcastle are, are enjoying the form of their lifetime. Not only are they not keeping clean sheets, but they're also scoring goals. Definitely. They're not scoring one or two goals. They're scoring enough goals. Right now, if you look at their goal difference, these people have more than 10 plus goal difference. That is telling you that they are keeping <laughs> clean sheets and they are punishing people. Definitely. So, Southampton, you better be afraid. Be wary. Be wary because Wilson has found his track. Almiron doesn't seem to rest. In fact, guys, as we are there, uh, Premier League just released uh, the nominees for the Premier League players of the season, uh, players of the month. Almiron is there. Guys, I'm championing for him. I know my player Kepa is there, but let's go vote for all my round. This guy has been impressive. We go for equity. This this time, uh, I support all my round. The list is on your screen, as you can see. Those are the nominees for the players of the month. Mm-hmm. So, put your vote where your money, where where your money is. But all my round is my guy. So this is a game whereby, trust you me, I'm going to give it to. Uh, I'm I'm going with Southampton to lose. To a two, a two, a two, a two one, two one, yes, two one. two one win for the Newcastle boys. Newcastle, I'm giving you three, two. So Newcastle three, Southampton two. Mm. West Ham against Crystal Palace. <sighs> West Ham will be at home mm-hmm. against Crystal Palace, who just won mm-hmm. recently. So uh, with me, I feel like. Western Crystal Palace, Western Crystal Palace. Although Crystal Palace won last time, they have had a bit uh, run of, a, of bad games. I think they're starting to pick up. On the other side, West Ham, I think they're starting to show. You saw the game they played against Manchester United. Mm-hmm. But I don't think if they'll play like that again because these teams, they tend to show uh, huge performances one uh, out of maybe 10 games, two, two times, something like that. So... With this one, I feel like um, it's going to be a draw. Mm. Let me go with 1-1. Guys, West Ham showed a very great game while they were facing Manchester United. In fact, uh, you'll even mistakenly say that West Ham were unlucky. Or should I say that Manchester United were lucky to win that match? Because mm. were it not for David Gea, he made some impressive saves. The saves which he was making, there's one specific save he made from Declan Rice. Then the other one from Antonio was such. Then the other also, you remember the header from Katsuma. Mm. Three great saves which could have actually changed the tone <laughs> of the game. Definitely. But uh, football is a holistic game, so the goalkeeper will always help you. So De Gea did his job 
and he managed to stop West Ham. That's how West Ham lost by a solitary goal, a goal which was scored by Rashford. So that should act as a motivator to them. But on the flip side, Patrick Vieira boys also are motivated by the fact that they also won, but from a, by a goal from Edward, uh, which gave them a one nil win against Wolves. So both teams are motivated. So the issue is who wants it more. For me, if you ask me, I feel like Newcastle, no West Ham, especially after winning in the uh, Conference Cup. Three by three goals to nil, they have built up that uh, consistency, and I feel like they're going to pounce. They're going to come and win against uh, these boys. Mm -hmm. So go give West Ham two nil, two nil against Crystal. All right. So, so guys, those are the matches for game week 16. But don't go away. We are bringing you back the biggest games, of course, of the weekend. So. It's a super Sunday. Super Sunday it is. Don't go anywhere. We will be.